Hello, Allendale friends and families. It's Mrs. Croissant with Dinosaurs Before Dark. We are on chapter four. So last time we were reading together, Jack and Annie landed in a place where, and they don't know where this place is, but there is a pterodon, a type of dinosaur. And Annie has come down the ladder to meet the pterodon. And remember we were kind of like, yikes. Wonder if that's a good idea. Let's find out. Chapter four, Henry. Jack gasped as Annie held out her hand. Oh, brother, she was always trying to make friends with animals, but this was going too far. Don't get too close to him, Annie, Jack shouted. But Annie touched the pterodon's crest. Remember that big thing on his head? She stroked his neck. She was talking to him. What in the world was she saying? <sighs> Jack took a deep breath. Okay, he would go down too. It would be good to examine the creature. Take notes, like a scientist. Jack started down the rope ladder. When he got to the ground, Jack was only a few feet away from the creature. The creature stared at Jack. His eyes were bright and alert. He's soft, Jack, said Annie. He feels like Henry, Jack snorted. <laughs> He's no dog, Annie. Feel him, Jack, said Annie. Jack didn't move. Don't think, Jack, just do it. Jack stepped forward. He put out his arm very cautiously. He brushed his hand down the creature's neck. Interesting, a thin layer of fuzz covered the skin. Soft, huh? said Annie. Jack reached into his backpack and pulled out a pencil and a notebook. He wrote, fuzzy skin. Fuzzy skin. What are you doing? asked Annie. Taking notes, said Jack. We're probably the first people in the whole world to ever see a real live pterodon. Pteranodon, I'm sorry, pteranodon. Jack looked at the pteranodon again. The creature had a bony crest on top of his head. The crest was longer than Jack's arm. I wonder how smart he is, Jack said. Very smart, said Annie. Don't count on it, said Jack. His brain's probably no bigger than a bean. No, he's very smart. I can feel it, said Annie. I'm going to call him Henry, Jack wrote in the notebook. Small brain with a question mark. And you can see the pteranodon looking at Annie. Jack looked at the creature again. Maybe he's a mutant, he said. The creature tilted his head. Annie laughed, he's no mutant, Jack. Well, what's he doing here then? Where is this place, said Jack. Annie leaned closer to, to the pteranodon. Do you know where we are, Henry? She asked softly. The creature fixed his eyes on Annie. His long jaws were opening and closing like a giant pair of scissors. Are you trying to talk to me, Henry? Asked Annie. Forget it, Annie, Jack wrote in his notebook. In his notebook. Mouth like scissors with a question mark. Did we come to a long time ago, Henry? Asked Annie. Is this place from long ago? Suddenly she gasped. <gasps> Jack, he looked up. Annie was pointing toward the hill. On top stood a huge dinosaur. Yikes, I wonder what kind of dinosaur that's going to be. Join me tomorrow for Chapter 5, Boys and Girls. Thank you. Bye.